Hey guys! So today is Casual Friday, and actually this song came into my head. Hey guys, it's Casual Friday here on Bum Song the Way, and you know what that means. Casual Friday, Casual Friday. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyways, it's Casual Friday, and I've got Ollie here, and we're going to do a four month update on breastfeeding and how that's been going. Normally on Casual Friday, I hold you guys, but I got this cool little tripod that actually is strapped to my crib. It like grabs onto the like bars of the crib and you guys are just sitting right on it and it's actually pretty neat. Actually, today that I'm, the day I'm um, filming this, he is four months today. Four months old, little dude, what are you thinking yet? As you can tell, he is well fed. <laughs> um, we are still 100% exclusively breastfeeding. I do not um, use anything except for breast milk. I do occasionally use a bottle, but that's very, very rare and only when I find him out of the house and he needs a bottle, which if I am out of the house, he usually doesn't need a bottle because I'm only gone for like an hour and I'm back before he needs to eat. As far as just breastfeeding, it's going really good. And you know, I think I always had it pretty well um, since the very beginning. He was a great breastfeeder. Um, at this point, he's four months old, and so he's starting to get to that stage where breastfeeding is becoming a little bit more difficult in the sense that he definitely doesn't concentrate as much. He might like, he only will latch for like a couple sucks, and then he'll like rip his his uh, head away and I don't even know if it's necessarily um, from a distraction because I usually when I do breastfeed I try and keep it you know distraction free but I think it's just like boredom like he'll he'll be like he'll be latched and then he'll just unlatch and then he'll latch on and then he'll unlatch and he'll latch on almost like he just wants to like move so that's kind of frustrating but you know what it's just kind of going with the flow as far as breastfeeding um, I'm sure once he gets to be a toddler it's gonna be um, even more interesting yeah you're jumping as you can tell he's doing a lot of jumping so we still only breastfeed on one side per feeding um, which does kind of make me feel a little um, lopsided I guess you can say because one breast will be like empty and the other one will be starting to fill which I guess is kind of weird like some people will feed maybe like 10 minutes on each side um, or maybe they only do 10 on one side but we just do it on one side because I feel like when I do try and switch him it's just like too much for him like it's like too much stimulation at that point he's done eating and doesn't want to relatch that's what we've been doing since he was a baby and it's been working and I guess that's fine he still is a fairly quick eater even when he was a baby like I'm he's still a baby I keep saying he when he was a baby but when he was a newborn he was definitely a very fast eater or an efficient eater some might say um, and he still is, I mean, he's still, but he, he'll usually eat for about 15 to 30 minutes. And on a really good night when he's like really relaxed, he might go for 45 minutes. Um, huh. But you like to eat. We still feed about every two to three hours. And nighttime, we can go about five to six if, uh. If he's really feeling it, if he had a good meal the night uh, right before bed. Currently, I'm actually coming down with something and not feeling so good. And at first, I was just like, oh. You getting bored? See, mom, stop talking to the camera. So at first, when I started getting sick, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is going to suck. Like, he's going to get sick and I'm going to feel terrible. But I kept reading up on it and um, it's actually so great for babies that they're breastfeeding when you're sick. Um, basically, a lot of, I think, a lot of women, especially when they're sick, are like, I can't breastfeed, it's just too much, it's too hard. And it is, it's like you just want to not feed him or you just want to like go lay down and not have to, you know, worry about them. I mean, I've been sick, I've technically had this virus in me for much longer than the symptoms have just started. So he's been actually taking in my antibodies for a long time, he's been fighting off the um, the virus that I have, which I just think is really cool. Just a really good pro to breastfeeding is the fact that some, in some cases, your whole family can be sick, but the only one not sick is the baby who's breastfeeding. So I just think that's really cool. And if he does get sick, it'll usually be like a smaller strain of what I have. So it won't be as bad because they will have already taken in so many antibodies. So if you're formula feeding, um, there is the higher chance that they can, um, come down with the, um, the virus that you have. I'm hoping for the best and that he doesn't end up getting what I have. At this point, it's not that bad. It's just a um, sore throat and I think I might be getting a stuffed up nose. It's maybe like a small cold, but it won't be too bad. If he does get it, um, it's not like it's a terrible um, thing. Do, do, do. I love my mommy's milk. My mommy's milk is the best. Alright guys, I hope 
that answers all your questions about how it's been going for breastfeeding as of four months. If you guys have any advice as far as trying to keep this little guy from getting distracted or bored while feeding um, and staying latched, please leave them in the comments below. Give me some advice. I would love for um, feeding to be a little less stressful with him constantly ripping away. <laughs> You're just a hyper guy, huh? Hey right, guys, like this video if you did. Subscribe to my channel because I put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Say bye, Mr. Holly. Say I am done. I want to go play. Good job. Hmm. All right. First off, we have just some really nice tissue paper and a note that says, Hello, Citrus Lane. It talks about a few different toys. I don't know if these are the toys that are in here, but I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, this is really cool. Looks like first we have like some bath toys. It's called Dive, and